Hi, I'm Board Mormon. Today we're going to talk about how to make Pokemon Go, and specifically the AR scenes. So first, we're going to open up a new product uh, project, and we're going to add a quad to the scene. We'll call this webcam texture. So this quad is going to take what the camera on the phone is seeing. We're going to use a two camera setup with layers, so we'll go ahead and create those layers now. The first layer will be artificial and the second layer will be reality. On the webcam texture, we'll assign it to the reality layer. Right, now we need to go set up the camera. The first camera we're going to use is called reality camera. We're going to make that orthographic. Um, it just works easier. And we're going to give it a size of 0.3. That's a magic number that about fits my webcam. All right, we're going to set that to depth 0. Depth 0 means it's going to be rendered first before all of the other cameras. And we're going to set the culling mask on this so that it only renders things on the reality layer. Now we'll grab our webcam texture and we'll add a new script called Reality Texture. Everything's done in Start, so we can get rid of Update. Right, the first thing we're going to do is grab the renderer from the quad. So that's a simple renderer is Get Components Renderer. Now we're going to create a new webcam texture. Webcam texture is a bit odd, um, but any device camera, whether it's on your phone, is referred to as a webcam texture. We need to give a name for that texture. And so I'm just going to grab the first webcam, text, uh, webcam that's available. If you've got more than one camera, you may need to sort whether you want forward facing or back facing. We're now going to grab the material of the render, renderer and set the main texture to that webcam texture. We need to hit webcam texture dot play and that'll start the camera running. Right, and we also want to scale this texture. Because we don't know what size the webcam texture is coming in, what we're going to do is set it to ratio the height divided by the width. Um, and that'll just give, it'll maintain the aspect ratio and just set the width will always be 1 and the, S, uh, and the height will be set by the absolute blah, blah, blah. Now if we hit play in Unity we can see that my webcam texture is being imported in and we can see it rendered on the screen. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our artificial layer. I'm just going to create a cube that's going to represent my Pokemon and I'll reset that transform so it sits at the origin. We're going to set this on the artificial layer. Right, now we need to create a new camera. This is going to be our artificial camera. So let's go ahead and name that. All right. I'm putting in numbers here 90 and 270. These are kind of magic numbers that I got. That's the default orientation of my iPhone about where I was holding it. We'll move the camera around so that the camera is um, can see our cube. Alright, we'll set the culling mask again. Alright, oh, sorry, we'll set the depth to 1. This means it'll render after our last camera. We'll set the culling mask to artificial, so we're only rendering things in the artificial. And we also need to set clear flag to depth only. This makes sure that we don't overwrite what the other camera is writing to the screen. Right. 
Once we've done that, we'll go over and click on the game view, and you can see as our cube rendering on top of the texture. Alright, to that camera, we'll add a new script, we'll call it artificial camera, and we'll go edit that. Right, this script's going to get the gyro, and so the first thing we need to do is make sure the gyro is turned on with input.gyro.enabled equals true. Right, an update, we're going to create a new quaternion, and we'll call it rotation. We're going to create a new vector 3, which is going to be the angles from the gyro, um, dot attitude. Now this is a quaternion, but we can't apply it directly, because it's in a different frame of reference. So on rotation, we're going to set the Euler angles to a new vector, and we're just going to invert the X and the Y that's come from the gyro. And we'll leave the Z unchanged. And finally, we'll just apply that transform to rotate our ro that rotation to our transform with transform.rotation. Now I'll back in Unity, I'll fire up Unity Remote. And you can see as I move the camera around, the cube's staying in about the same real-world position. I hope you enjoyed that. Like, comment, or subscribe to see more videos.